When you've been fully vaccinated, how to protect yourself and others. If you are fully vaccinated, you can resume activities that you did prior to the pandemic. Fully vaccinated people can resume activities without wearing a mask or physically distancing, except where required by federal, state, local, tribal, or territorial laws. Rules and regulations, including local business and workplace guidance. If you haven't been vaccinated yet, find a vaccine. COVID-19 vaccines are effective at protecting you from getting sick. Based on what we know about COVID-19 vaccines, people who have been fully vaccinated can start to do some things that they had stopped doing because of the pandemic. These recommendations can help you make decisions about daily activities after you are fully vaccinated. They are not intended for healthcare settings. Have you been fully vaccinated? In general, people are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after their second dose in a two-dose series, such as the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, or two weeks after a single-dose vaccine, such as the Johnson & Johnson's Janssen vaccine. If you don't meet these requirements, regardless of your age, you are not fully vaccinated. Keep taking all precautions until you are fully vaccinated. If you have a condition or are not taking medications that weaken your immune system, you may not be fully protected even if you are fully vaccinated. Talk to your healthcare provider even after vaccination. You may need to con take, continue taking all precautions. If you've been fully vaccinated, you can resume activities that you did prior to the pandemic. You can resume activities without wearing a mask or staying six feet apart, except where required by federal, state, local, tribal, or territorial laws, rules and regulations, including local business and workplace guidelines. If you travel in the United States, you do not need to get tested before or after travel or self-quarantine after travel. You need to pay close attention to the situation at your international destination before traveling outside the United States. You do not need to get tested before leaving the United States unless your destination requires it. You still need to show a negative test result or documentation of recovery from COVID-19 before boarding an international flight to the United States. You should still get tested three to five days after international travel. You do not need to self-quarantine after arriving in the United States. If you've been around someone who has COVID-19, you do not need to stay away from others or get tested unless you have symptoms. However, if you live or work in a correctional or detention facility or a homeless shelter and are around someone who has COVID-19, you should still get tested even if you don't have symptoms. What you should keep doing. For now, if you've been fully vaccinated, you will still need to follow guidance at your workplace and local businesses. If you travel, you should still take steps to protect yourself and others. Masks are required on planes, buses, trains, and other forms of public transportation traveling into, within, or out of the United States and in U.S. transportation hubs, such as airports and stations. Travelers are not required to wear a mask in outdoor areas of a conveyance like on a ferry or the top deck of a bus. The CDC recommends that travelers who are not fully vaccinated continue to wear a mask and maintain physical distance when traveling. Fully vaccinated international travelers arriving in the United States are still required to get tested three days before travel by air into the United States or show documentation of recovery from COVID-19 in the past three months and should still get tested three to five days after their trip. You should still watch out for symptoms of COVID-19, especially if you've been around someone who is sick. 
If you have symptoms of COVID-19, you should get tested and stay home and away from others. People who have a condition or are taking medications that weaken their immune system should talk to their healthcare provider to discuss their activities. They may need to keep taking all precautions to prevent COVID-19. What we know. COVID-19 vaccines are effective at preventing COVID-19 disease, especially severe illness and death. COVID-19 vaccines reduce the risk of people spreading COVID-19. What we're still learning. How effective the vaccines are against variants of the virus that causes COVID-19. Early data show the vaccines may work against some variants but could be less effective against others. How well the vaccines protect people with weakened immune systems, including people who take immunosuppressive medications. How long COVID-19 vaccines can protect people. As we know more, CDC will continue to update our recommendations for both vaccinated and unvaccinated people. Ensuring COVID-19 vaccine safety in the U.S. Vaccine safety and monitoring. COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Millions of people in the United States have received COVID-19 vaccines under the most intense safety monitoring in U.S. history. The CDC recommends you get a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as you can. Ensuring COVID-19 vaccines work. Vaccine effectiveness. All COVID-19 vaccines currently available in the United States are effective at preventing COVID-19 as seen in clinical trial settings. Research provides growing evidence that messenger RNA COVID-19 vaccines offer similar protection in real-world conditions. COVID-19 vaccination is an important tool to help stop the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 vaccination helps protect people from getting sick or severely ill with COVID-19 and might also help protect people around them. To receive the most protection, people should receive all recommended doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. Some people who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 will still get sick because no vaccine is 100% effective. Experts continue to monitor and evaluate how often this occurs, how severe their illness is, and how likely a vaccinated person is to spread COVID-19 to others. CDC recommends you get a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as one is available to you. COVID-19 vaccines work. Research shows that all COVID-19 vaccines authorized for use in the United States provide protection against COVID-19. The CDC and other experts are continuing to assess how COVID-19 vaccines work in real-world conditions. These types of studies are called vaccine effectiveness studies. What we know about how well COVID-19 vaccines are working. COVID-19 vaccination reduces the risk of COVID-19 and its potentially severe complications. All COVID-19 vaccines currently authorized for use in the United States help to protect people against COVID-19, including severe illness in clinical trial settings. So far, studies that have looked at how COVID-19 vaccines work in real-world conditions, vaccine effectiveness studies, have shown that these vaccines are working well. Most vaccine effectiveness data now available are related to messenger RNA vaccines, such as the Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna, because these vaccines have been available longer. CDC and other experts continue to study the effectiveness of both messenger RNA vaccines and the Johnson & Johnson's Janssen COVID-19 vaccine in real-world conditions.